Ren, I just give a few straws of facts and figures around this technology. You are at the heart of it. You know, Imad Mushtaq and you uh, have created Stability Diffusion. Help us understand why is this being deemed such a disruptive technology? So thanks, Shoma. Maybe like uh, you already eloquent, most eloquently explain um, why this technology is getting <clears throat> very disruptive and potentially transforming the society. So I think uh, to directly answer your question, maybe my first answer will be there are previous version of the AI and the current version of AI, or the, maybe the next version of AI. So let me explain. The, the, one, the current, the new one, which we call a generative AI, is critically different from the previous version of the AI because back in the days when we were talking about AI, it's about studying hundreds of millions of data and then trying to get the answer, is this dog or not? Dog or not? So by studying hundreds of millions of data, your input was zero or one. <clears throat> As opposed to that, the generative AI is trying to understand the relationship between concept, idea, tangible object, visual effect, so that this, this generative AI model understand the connection between that, so that based on that understanding, this generative AI model can literally generate new visual artwork, meaning that by, it's the same, it's understanding hundreds of millions of data, but the output is billions of. Right, yeah. so you know, Ren, you were saying, I'm going to ask the console to play this uh, film, which you said to give the audience a sense of what this technology can do, you'd like that film to be played. So if I can just ask the console to play the India Moment film. Ren wanted us to show this is because every single image that you saw there has been generated by the technology that they've released. In 15 seconds, you write some words and these images come up as though India Today's star photographers have been all around the country, you know, capturing India. So that's, now Ren, tell us, you know, so we've, just, this is just the beginning of it. Mm. Uh, Chat GPT and others are synthesizing thought, synthesizing, you know, medical lawyers, we'll come to human displacement. First, help the audience understand that you guys in this already very disruptive world have done something even more disruptive, which is that you made all this technology open source. You put it out there as a public good and opened it up for everyone to use. So tell us the vision driving this and what is the controversy? Why is it so controversial? So, so what we strongly believe in is this concept of the open source, <clears throat> because the you know, the, there is no secret sauce. The recipe of making this generative AI is very simple. You, you need three ingredients. You need the data, you need the know-how to train the data, you need a humongous compute power. But we are adding one more secret sauce into the making of the generative AI model, which is open source, just as you as mentioned. So by opening everything to all the users and engineers and coders around the world, we are inviting them to use it, adopt it, and improve it. So by relying on tens of thousands of the, the engineers, else, even outside our company, our model is getting exponential growth. That's the first meaning of the open source, just like a Linux moment. The second significance, which I believe is very, very <clears throat> pertinent to the current challenges or some public policy debate, is open source means transparency. 
Because look, the generative AI is getting more and more the everyday thing, and then people are affected by the generative AI or using generative AI for their day-to-day -day body. You want to understand what is in the model, how you're training the model. Open source, we believe, is one of the most crucial answer to this question because we are ensuring the accountability, transparency. So if you are using like a proprietary model, you never know, oh, how you're getting this model into the fact. You know, you, you, you ask this model whatever questions, they give you whatever answers, but you may wonder why this model is giving me this answer. Unless you understand what is inside a model and how you train it, the accountability is not fulfilled. Yeah.